hello students today we are starting our chapter number 6 from our mathematics textbook the name of the chapter is lines and angles so first we need to know some basic terms and definitions so first you can see what is a line segment a line with two end points is called a line segment so let us assume it's a line and it has two end points okay this is first one and this is last one okay so it will be called a line segment again a part of a line with one end point is called a ray so with one end point you can see this is only one end point here so it will be called a ray now what is collinear points and non collinear points if three or more points lie on the same line they are called collinear points otherwise they are called non collinear points so we are drawing a line okay so we are assuming three or more points okay three or more points on that line so these points are called collinear points why because we have three or more points on the same line okay the line is not straight because i have drawn it with hands okay free hands that's why it's not straight but this is a line and we have three or more points on the line so this points will be called collinear points again let us assume we have points okay so you can see if we draw a line here you see only two points are on the line but these two points you can see these two points are not on the line so this is 1 2 3 4 four points are here and these four points are not collinear because the points are not on the same line you can see these two points are on the same line but these two are not on the line okay so that's why these four points will not be called collinear points that's why these four points will be called non collinear points now here you can see there are some angles given let us assume that that angle is x and if that angle is greater than 0 and less than 90 so then that angle will be called acute angle what is right angle if an angle is 90 degree then that will be called right angle if an angle is greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree then that will be called obtuse angle what is straight angle you can see if an angle is 180 degree then that angle will be called straight angle what is reflex angle if an angle is greater than 180 degree but less than 360 degree then that angle will be called reflex angle again you can see adjacent angles what do you mean by adjacent angles two angles are adjacent if they have a common vertex so this is an example of adjacent angles this one and this one so these two are called adjacent angles why because they have a common vertex you can see b is the common vertex here again a common arm so this arm bd bd is the common arm okay and their non common arms are on different sides so this arm and this arm are on different sides and these two are not common means not same you can see ab and bc these are in different sides so that's why these two angles will be called adjacent angles 
again linear pair of angles what do you mean by linear pair of angles here you can see this angle a b d and c b d these two angles are called linear pair of angles why because if we add these two angles we will get a straight line okay you can see this angle plus this angle you can use the protector also to find out the value of this angle then find out value of this angle and then add these two angles you will see a sum of 180 degree that's why it's a straight line okay that's why these two angles are called linear pair of angles